then uh, after patching uh, you are going to also in patching you learn one utility called o patch that is a utility that is used to apply the patch then upgrading i will show you 10g release to 11g release to upgrade with patch sets uh, 10 to 04 patch set how to apply that we will see performance tuning is there in performance tuning is again quite a big topic on the sql tuning you will see so many things in sql tuning like bind variables uh, explain plan tk prop and uh, auto trace how to see the execution plan indexes table partitioning system tuning you will see things like uh, how to increase database writer processes and how to go for tuning the network how to generate awr report addm report memory tuning performance tuning is also very important and additionally though i didn't list in this i will show you data that how to create physical standby database i will show you that is additional from my side plus uh, plus point I will show you that complete process how to generate a standby database theory and practical both I will show you for that uh, you need to uh, this thing uh, set up uh, one virtual machine see I will show you if you start uh, VMware so I am going to like use virtual machine VMware and on VMware I have installed Linux of course I will show you Linux installation everything so I will start virtual machine this way even you can set up on your system individual oracle servers you can set up on your system also and uh, once we start the VMware we will I will show you for example how we can enter into oracle and all so once this virtual machine is starting and your Red Hat is starting, we can log into Red Hat and then we can just see some things like for example uh, I will take you to Oracle database and I will write some queries and all. So like this every day I will be teaching you in virtual machine. Okay? But when it comes to topics like RMAN or data that we will be using two virtual machines or even networking. Networking also we need client and server, no? So we'll use two virtual machines at that time. So, so your uh, minimum requirement for practicing on your laptop, if you have 4 GB RAM and i3 processor, that is enough, no, no problem. But when you want to study RAC in future, after finishing Oracle DBA, then only you can do RAC. For real application clusters, if you want to do on VMware, you need 8 GB RAM and i5 processor minimum. See, always when we install Oracle, we will install Oracle in a user called Oracle in Linux. So we have to create that user and all that. In installation, I will show you all those things. So this is my Linux desktop and so I have one database. So there is one database called Sri Ram. Now we will connect to that database. already created database and this is I'm using this database for an ongoing batch. Just I'm showing you how the environment will look like. SQL plus slash S is DBA. Here I'm connecting to SQL plus client with special permission as SysDBA. As SysDBA means I'm connecting as a database administrator. This command is possible to execute only on the server directly. Now this Linux machine is itself the server only. 
Okay. The Linux machine itself is the server. So just execute startup. This is nothing but starting the Oracle database. I am starting an Oracle database called Sriram. So what you are seeing in front of you, total system global area, that is nothing but instance, the memory component of instance. Then we will use simple SQL command, there is no uh, high level SQL command, basic SQL commands are enough, but other commands all will come, like database creation and all command will be very big, that all we will see. This is the database name Sriram and that is the ID of the database. Every Oracle database will be having an ID as you can see over here. That ID will be generated by Oracle itself. You can change the ID but new ID you cannot give. Again system will give new ID. Okay. These are the data files. In this database these are the data files. These are the control files. These are video log files. So these are the physical files of Oracle database. You can see them in operating system also. So these are the data files in the operating system. These are the online video log files in the operating system. We have something called as temporary table space also, those data files. Okay, like this. So when you create database, all these files will come into existence. Then you can add more files to the database and grow the size of your database. So totally your DBA course will run at SQL prompt and at dollar from Linux dollar from it is mostly all commands like for example see this is a command to create a database okay by writing this command and executing I can create an oracle database but before running this command I have to do so many things like I have to create instance and then I can create database so this way we are going to work so, we will be using SQL and Linux, two, two options we are going to use most of the time while working in Oracle DBA, okay. So, just I have uh, given you a total overview, what is the DBA, what are the good points about DBA, what is the advantage of Oracle, disadvantage of Oracle and I have explain course content to you, this is the entire course content and uh, I will uh, send this content to big classes and they will share with you. Uh, also uh, I have shown you the console where we are going to study DBA, it is not difficult, Oracle DBA is not a difficult course, so if you are learning this course, you be with me in the course, I will take you ahead, I have taught hundreds of students earlier online and offline and uh, I, I will definitely tell you that uh, what I will teach you it will be of great benefit and you will be working as a TBA just like so many other students who have learned from me. In fact believe it or not right now I am teaching one person with almost 18 years of experience on IT. He is a Unix administrator since 10 years in Malaysia for Malaysian army. He works for Malaysian army. I am teaching him Oracle DBA and uh, his questions are so complicated because he is a real time guy. And he wants basic also very depth and advanced also very depth and uh, if I am able to satisfy that person and he is able to do work directly in his site by hearing my class, definitely you will be also at the same level because I will teach you slowly 
Yes, the course will keep moving forward slowly. And whatever doubts you have, you should ask me or clarify the doubts. I will show you all the demos on the system. Even I will copy paste all the steps what I am doing and mail it to big classes. They will forward to you. Okay. So everything, whichever documents I am using while teaching, I am having PowerPoint presentations through the PPTs I will teach you. So that way, definitely you get good benefit. No doubt about that. I will share the PPTs also with you. Okay. PDF format I will send to you. You can go through them. So that is the. Any doubts you are having? Any questions? So that you have to ask to big uh, big uh, classes. Yeah, please ask to them. Okay. So maybe they are having some option for that. But my sincere suggestion is that while learning the course, uh, concentrate on the class. Of course, I know that you will concentrate. Second thing is that you must practice. Like for example, today I created a database. After the session is over, practice for one or two hours on your laptop, and you also try to create database so that. You will be confident that uh, that uh, Kapil did this in his system. We also completed in our systems. So you are at par with me in the class. Okay. So basically, uh, big classes uh, will come back to us for the feedback or do we schedule the class? Yeah, big classes, they will take care of all the things, no problem. Uh, you can ask to them uh, whatever is your doubt related to this uh, uh, subject point of view. I will cover everything that I told you and data guard is not there in my syllabus. Yet I am telling you, I will cover data guard also for you. So no need to worry about that. And I will teach you through PowerPoint and practicals completely at the console. VMware, Linux, Oracle, everything, how to install, everything I will show you. Uh, software, uh, you have to, you can get open uh, software. I will uh, tell you uh, which operating systems to use. You will get free of cost. From Oracle, you can download Oracle 11G. And from, uh, you can use CentOS. Instead of Red Hat, you can use CentOS. I will also use CentOS while teaching you. CentOS operating system is also free distribution you can download from internet itself. There is no license for that. Okay. Thing is like uh, I have a doubt. Uh, is yeah. the thing that you are covering uh, will be totally on a real time? Uh, will this be yeah. totally using in the, in the real time scenarios? Yeah, you yeah, will be using 100% it is uh, based on real time. In DBA, one good thing I will tell you in DBA. The subject itself, what we learn is a real-time subject, that is the thing. Because whatever we do in class is exactly similar to what they will do in real-time. Because the process will be same, like if I am creating table space here, there also it will be same command, same process. Only the uh, names will change, uh, that's all. But generally everything else will be very similar, no problem. Okay.